all love cushy carpets, right, Celia? Yeah! Okay, but how many pounds are we throwing away every year in the landfill? Four billion! Yeah, that's right, four billion, or 160,000 school buses. Keep watching. We've got some great answers to help keep it out of the landfill. Did you know the average life expectancy of a carpet is really only about six to eight years? Now, before you think I'm hugging a tree or getting all ominous over the fact that we take a short-lived product and throw out so much of it, the reality is I want you to appreciate the impact up front so that we can start to consider better options. If you have to go with carpeting, stick with area rugs. They have a lot of great natural options to consider. Here's a few now. If area rugs aren't for you and you want to go with a regular carpet, there's two options. The first is Broadloom. That's the larger rolls that go across the entire floor. The second is carpet tiles. Those are the smaller squares that make up a larger rug. Here's some eco options to consider for each. If you're choosing Broadloom carpet, it's actually one of the least sustainable options out there, but it's also one of the most economical, which is why it's one of the most commonly installed floor coverings. Problem is it's a petroleum-based product with very few options at end of the useful life. However, there is some exciting product that's hitting the marketplace that's taking that Broadloom carpet, keeping it out of the landfill, and turning it into second-generation product with recycled content. I'll talk about that more in a little bit. If you're going to be considering Broadloom, make sure you take into a couple key considerations to make it more sustainable. The first consideration is try to find one with recycled content in it. This is always a great start. The other aspect is choosing a manufacturer who has great practices, meaning they're using less harmful chemicals, better dyes, also more sustainable practices in the manufacturing of it, including using renewable energy. One way to find this is using products with cradle to cradle certifications. This third party verification is a great way to find those types of manufacturers. Another, if you're concerned about the off gassing of your carpet, meaning it's giving off volatile organic compounds or VOCs, these are potentially harmful chemicals. Look for the CRI label. This certification ensures that it's a low emitting carpet. You could also consider carpet tile as another flooring option. I won't give it total high marks because at the end of the day, it still is a petroleum based product, but it's certainly higher on the sustainable spectrum versus Broadloom. And here's why. These durable 18 by 18 or 24 by 24 inch tiles all lay together to create one large massing. Do you have kids like I do that love to spill things? Yeah. You can actually just pull up whatever tile gets damaged, replace it with the extra stock you have, and off you go. That's actually environmental right there. Additionally, most carpet tile actually comes with higher levels of recycled content, which is great amongst most manufacturers. Additionally, you can search out those third-party verifications like Cradle to Cradle and CRI that I mentioned for the Broadloom, which also apply to carpet tile. Lastly, carpet tile has a lot of options at end of useful life. It's highly recyclable. And I've been working with a contractor for years, Carpet Cycle, who have done a tremendous job taking this carpet tile back and working alongside with manufacturers, bringing it to them to turn into new second generation carpet tiles. They've also been working with other manufacturers to create some really interesting products. If you're not into carpeting, I get it. And stay tuned for next time, because we're going to do a deep dive into the other eco flooring options for you to consider, whether natural stone, engineered wood flooring, and more. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit like. Haha, <laughs> I'll bet you thought I was going to disappear before talking about that really cool product. Absolutely not. So it all begins with Carpet Cycle. As I mentioned, I've been working with them for years. Sean Regal and his team, they are doing a tremendous job working throughout the greater New York City metro area to collect carpet and carpet tile, which then goes back to the manufacturers to turn into other second generation products. Oh, and they just found a really cool second generation product. Also, here in the local area, down in Jersey actually, is a company, Quiet Tech. They're taking that Broadloom carpet, which I already mentioned, has very limited options at end of useful life, keeping it out of the landfill to create a truly unique cradle to cradle product. They're breaking down that Broadloom carpet and combining it with recycled cotton fibers and PET binder fibers to create high performance acoustic insulation. That's right, an eco insulation with one of the best sound absorbing capabilities around. Sound interesting? Well, yeah, for a father like me with three kids, noisy all the time, what I wouldn't give to be able to have that between bathrooms, bedrooms, and other areas of the house to create a nice, quiet, peaceful, tranquil house. Want to hear more about it? Oh, well, you're just going to have to wait until tomorrow when we feature Quiet Tech. Okay, now we can get back to wrapping this up. So thanks for joining today, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit like or share with a friend. 
Remember to subscribe and keep following for all things green.